Hey, it's Christina with Kapwing, and I've got a tutorial on how to do side-by-side -side videos. By the end of the tutorial, you will be able to edit and download or get a share link for a video that you can put uh, video images, text, or GIFs into a little collage. You do not need Adobe Premiere or iMovie to do this. You can do it all in Kapwing. If you're not familiar with Kapwing, it is an online video image GIF making creator platform that uh, lets you create videos like these for free up to seven minutes. You just need a login so that you don't get the little watermark. I'm gonna walk you through the tutorial pretty quickly so that way if you kind of already know how to edit or you have an idea in mind, you'll be able to do it quickly. And then afterwards, I will go through a few specific examples and really show you a lot of like tips and tricks and uh, help you create something really special and unique. Let's get started. If you click on the link below, you will see this collage maker. You can see a bunch of different templates, which are helpful. You don't have to choose any of them, but um, you know, they are convenient. So let's go ahead and do side by side like this. Right, you'll notice these two placeholders. You can see them here in the little layer section. Those are gonna give you some guidelines to make sure that your uh, dimensions are all right. You've got different setting options. So let's say you started a template and you realized you wanted this to be for Instagram, you can you know, for an Instagram post or square post, 16 by 9, 9 by 16, you can change that. Then, if you want to add your own video, click here, upload, and then either drag and drop, open up your files, or you can copy and paste a link. You can also add your logo. Let's see, you have the option to add text here. You can change, we have a lot of different fonts, color pickers, you can add your own hex codes. If you want to add a GIF, a reaction GIF, you can click here on images and you can do an image search. Let's say we want this Mr. Bean one. Okay, great. Now that you've got a GIF in there, then you have two different ways to resize it. You can drag and drop in the corner and it's currently set to this fill setting. So it'll kind of automatically adjust your video. Uh, for the size, or you can do a locked ratio, which will keep it a perfect square, which for us, not really relevant. You're gonna to wanna to make sure that's set to fill. I pulled in this beautiful footage of the California poppies. You know, this footage is 17 seconds, 19 seconds long, which seems a bit long to me. So I have two options for trimming it. I can click on the video, and then here you'll see a trim button. And you can use this tool to trim, other option of clicking right here, this is a little timeline icon, and then you can trim your video in here. I'll go into more detail in a little bit, but those are just some general tips for you. When you're happy with your piece and it's all done, click on settings right here, and then you can make it a GIF or keep it a video. You can adjust a few extra settings there as well, and then click export video right here. All right, let's try something a little bit more advanced. So I'll show you, I'd already uploaded some of these files just cause it can take a minute. Um, so this is the template I picked. It's got three different squares and you'll see if I sort of click in this gray area, then I'll see all the layers that I'm working with here on the side. So these are the two placeholder layers and you can see they're, they're locked. Um, and then when you want to add footage, go here to upload and then drag and drop your files. You also can, um, paste links to URLs. I already pulled in these two bits of footage. This was a prank from a friend's wedding. Okay, so let's just get that out of the way for right now. We're gonna deal with this footage. So if I wanna play it, I can click down here. Here you can see them walking. So the action kind of stays in this part of the frame. So I'm going to readjust the size. So I can leave it like that and then I can crop it because it's a little bit, I'm just gonna crop it in a tiny bit. Okay, so it fits nicely in there. Perfect. So put my friend's reaction here. All right, now these two videos are both very different lengths and I wanna make sure that the action happens at the same time, so. Um, what we're gonna do, we actually have two options. You can trim some of the video here, which is pretty effective, and you can also go into the timeline tool. So if I go into the timeline, you'll see these are the placeholders for the little uh, collage squares. Okay, 
So I want her pullback reaction to happen right as he turns around. So I see her pullback reaction happens like right around here in the footage. So I'm gonna hit play. All right, so I need to slide that to like right around there. Okay, Let's see what that's like. That's great. Okay, so I will make that clip last that long, so the two match, and then I, if I want to like add a little bit more of the build up, I'll slide these down the timeline, and then um, you can click on the end of these clips to make them longer. Now I want to make all of these things shorter because your video is going to be as long as your longest item on the timeline. So shorten that up. You'll notice, actually, this just popped up. You'll see this. Um, replace button. It's just another way to get your footage in. Um, all right, and then in this little space, I want to add some text. So I'm going to create a little background. So I'm gonna put a box in here like that. I want that to be a different color, pearly white kind of color. Add text. I love a right justify. I love a bottom centered piece. Okay, that looks great. If you wanted to add a few extra little elements too for the side-by-side -side video, you could add like a, oh, like a line, a little stick, um, but you can have it maybe match that font color so it feels kind of cohesive. If you have anything that hangs off the edges, it'll get edited out so you don't have to worry about that. Okay, let's watch it. Super, super cute. Let's say I wanted to add some music. I'm going to audio. If you had some music to upload, um, I'm just gonna leave it natural sound, but you have the option if you want to. I'm gonna go to export video. Ah, great. Looks adorable. You can see if you're really being really perfectionist, you can see I adjusted this video a tiny bit too much on the side, but if you need to make a change, you can hit edit and go back. Um, and then we're ready to download. You can also share, embed, a lot of options, but we're gonna download. Voila, you're done, and it's adorable. Subscribe for more awesome Kapwing content.